everyone, welcome to your PT Plus all-in-one course online lessons. Now this is the part one introduction of PTE listening, where we will provide you with a high-level overview of what the listening section involves in the exam. Then we'll flow into part two later on, where we'll cover the key things you must know in order to be most effective in your preparation. So without further ado, let's have a look at the exam structure first. Now, listening is part three and also the last part of your exam. And before the listening section, you'll notice that you get an option to take a 10 minute break. Now, it's completely up to you whether you'd like to take this break or not. For some students, they feel that the break actually disrupts their flow and their rhythm in the exam. So if that's the case for you, then you can choose to go on straight into listening without taking the break. Whereas for other students, they feel that the break gives them the time to refocus and to you know, make sure they go into listening with the highest concentration possible. So if that's the case, then you can raise your hand and request to take the break. Just make sure that you come back within the 10 minutes. Now within listening, there's also a structure as well. Firstly, you'll notice that listening involves the most number of question types, a total of eight actually, and they all have quite different requirements. And the second thing you'll notice also is that the listening part is split into two sections as well. Section one contains just one question type called summarize spoken text. And section two contains the rest of the seven question types. And the reason for this split is because of the timer. So in section one for summarize spoken text, each question within it is timed individually. So every question has its own timer. However, in section two, the question types are timed as a whole. So you'll get one timer of about 23 to 28 minutes to complete all seven question types. And so this means that it's extremely important for you to manage your time well during the exam for these seven question types. And in part two of this video later, we'll cover the key knowledge and strategies that you'll need for this too. So now I'll quickly introduce you to what each of the eight listening question types involve. The first question type you'll face is summarize spoken text. As we mentioned before, this is in section one of listening. So basically each one of these summarized spoken text questions will be timed individually. So it'll have its own timer and you'll get 10 minutes per question. And in that 10 minutes, you'll need to listen to a short lecture of about 60 to 90 seconds. Then you'll need to write a summary of between 50 to 70 words of what you heard and you'll need to do around two to three of these types of questions in the exam. Then afterwards, you'll move into section two of the listening and a single timer will start. And so the first question type you'll meet in here is multiple choice, choose multiple answers. And you'll have seven seconds to prepare. Then you'll need to listen to an audio of about 40 to 90 seconds. Now it will be a live situation, so there could be background noises and so forth that you'll need to deal with in the recording. And then you'll need to answer the question below. And there is more than one correct option, so you'll need to pick them out. But they don't actually specify how many correct answers there are, just that it's more than one. And you'll be facing two to three of these types of questions. Then within the same timer, it'll continue on to fill in the blanks. So you have seven seconds to prepare, and then you'll need to listen to an audio of about 30 to 60 seconds. Now the transcript of what is being said is at the bottom, but it's got blanks in it. And so while you're listening, you'll need to pay attention to what is being said during the blank and fill that blank in. And you'll need to do about two of three of these types of questions. After that is highlight correct summary. So you'll have 10 seconds to get ready, and then you'll need to listen to an audio or recording for about 30 to 90 seconds. 
And then at the bottom will be a few paragraph summaries of what was said. And you'll need to pick the paragraph that best summarizes what you heard. And you'll face about two to three of these in the exam as well. Moving on, the fifth question type you'll face in listening is multiple choice, choose single answer. So for this question type, the preparation time is shorter. You'll have five seconds to get ready. Then you'll need to listen to the audio for about 30 to 60 seconds, and you'll need to select one correct answer from the options below. And you will face about two to three of these as well. The sixth question type is select missing word. So what happens is you'll have seven seconds to prepare and then you'll need to listen to an audio for about 20 to 70 seconds. And basically the last word or the last group of words in the audio will be missing. It will be actually beat out. And what you'll need to do is select a correct option that represents what that last word or that last group of words could be and you'll face about two to three of these types of questions. The seventh question type is highlight incorrect words. So you'll have 10 seconds to get ready, and then you'll be listening to a recording for about 15 to 50 seconds. And what happens is you'll need to compare it to the transcript of the recording that's at the bottom here. And now what happens is that some words in the transcript will be different to what is being said in the recording. And so you'll need to click on the words that are wrong in the text. And you'll face about two to three of these types of questions. Then finally, you will finish with write from dictation, which is a pretty famous question type. And you'll learn in part two later on of this video that it is also going to contribute a lot to your listening scores. Now what happens in this question type is you will have seven seconds to get ready, and then you'll be listening to the recording of a short sentence of about three to five seconds. And then you'll need to type out exactly what you heard in the box given below. And you will face three to four of these types of questions in the exam. So those are the eight listening question types. Now that you've got a high level understanding of what the PTE listening section in the exam involves, I'll see you in part two, where we talk about the key knowledge and strategies for you to be most effective in your preparation.